now let's look at some of the developer aspects so let's say this app is getting more popular and we want to deliver some new features so in order for to de uh, deploy a new feature um, all you need to do is set up a webhook for this application and whenever you ch uh, push your changes to github it automatically kicks off a new build and then it deploys and also one thing to remember is builds only happen in dev, dev environment and after that all those uh, docker images that are generated will be transferred to the upper environments there is no build happening there <coughs> so let's go and set up a webhook go to the build section and the configuration you have a generic webhook url that's i'm going to set it up inside my repo from which i have built this application add webhook add this url disable ssl because i'm not using a certified one and webhook that's it okay so you can see this application now and the traffic is normal so let's go and change a new feature um, what i'm going to do is on the rest api instead of hello from this i'm going to add uh, let's say hello open shift from this host name okay that's it commit changes and this should automatically kick off a new build so you can see it kicked off a new build your incoming traffic is still good it's serving from two two instances of your application and it's now deploying a newer version it does a rolling deployment so it it brings a newer version and takes out the old one it brings a newer version and takes out the old one so if you have a lot of uh, applications containers deployed it's going to intermittently have previous version and also newer version parallelly so you can see once once it is from old version and it is and, and the other one is newer version so it, it is now doing a rolling deployment you can choose to not to do a rolling deployment you can do a recreate de a deployment which will basically take out everything and uh, only point it in your version so it does a rolling deployment now okay so once once the other one is ready it should tra serve traffic from the newer version that's how um, you can actually uh, update source code and build newer images maybe as part of your CI/CD process or or from the uh, developer uh, CLI as well